Crypto Lightsaber back with another video, guys. So we're going to talk about a project that, for me, looks pretty good. All right, the graphics on this, um, the way it's put together, this could stand there with something out of Gala Games or Vulcan Forge. Uh, not at the actual Gala Games, but you know they build different games, right? Um, this could stand with some of those, right, guys? And this is built by a very small team independently. So I, I, I think these guys stand a chance of doing something good um, if they can get marketing off the road. If they can get this in the bull run, you know, when gaming takes off, this could potentially be a candidate for some gains, right? It's a free play to earn NFT racing game and it's called Block Riders. They've got a token called Riders. And then um, we'll talk about the token in just a minute. But they actually had a Genesis um, NFT sale called the Riders Collection, which sold out in less than 11 minutes just yesterday. All right, guys. So that is a very, uh, you know, to get your NFT uh, sale selling out in 11 minutes. I've seen other ones that literally running for days, right? Um, these are actually available on TofuNFT.com. T-O-F-U-N-F-T. Dot com. This hosts NFTs for the Binance Smart Chain, all right? sort of like OpenSea, and uh, you can see the various different trucks and, and vehicles and cars and go-karts, right? And obviously these can be used to kind of race in the game, and you can earn the Block Riders token and so on. So uh, you can see the various prices. These are people trying to resell them on the market. They've listed them and obviously trying to resell them, so these guys probably pick these up in the Genesis sale, right? But uh, you can go and take a look at that, tofunft.com. But yeah, I mean, I mean, this has got, it's, it's got a, a demo, right? And I've tried it. I don't know how to play it. I want to show you guys, right? I don't know how to turn, right? I know how to go forward, but I'm not sure how to turn. But I'll just give you a brief demo, right? And I literally don't know how to, how to turn, right? And uh, let's see if I can, uh, I literally don't know how to turn, guys. I could just go forward. Give me a control pad and I can do my thing, but desktop gaming, I'm not the best. All right, guys, I'll, I'll just admit that. So, I mean, you guys can check this out. Let me know in, in the comments if you know how to turn right and left on the keyboard. I'm using my laptop. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments, guys. If you know anything about desktop or blockchain gaming, a lot of time there's NFTs involved, right? There's different uh, skins and all that sort of stuff. And this offers all of that, right? You've got mystery boxes with NFT skins. And there's going to be different rarities to the NFTs and so on, right? There's going to be different tracks, different courses. You can actually do multiplayer and race with your friends and things like that. So, you know, there's a play to earn aspect of it, obviously. So it's ride or die. Um, if you pay me, so basically you can do PvP game modes and um, obviously earn from each other, set different wages and so on. But um, yeah, I mean, if it's your thing, if NFT, uh, if racing, sorry, if blockchain gaming is your thing, right, this could be one for you, right? We're going to take a look at the chart in just a minute, but we have a statement here from the founder who says, I'm a stay at home dad a crypto investor and have 14 years experience in digital marketing. So we need that experience in digital marketing, right? That, that is going to be a good thing when it comes to promoting this particular project. So it says, along with a very small team of highly talented marketing wizards that make everything possible, I'm building a low fidelity NFT powered racing game with the underlying goal of helping onboard the next generation onto blockchain technology. I'm very excited to share the progress with you as we forge ahead through NFT development, design and build the game, integrate the NFTs and kick off our marketing strategy. Buying our token or holding gives you ownership in the game, a voice in shaping its future and 3% BUSD rewards in, perpetu in, in perpetuity. There's a 10% transaction fee, which helps us build stronger liquidity, 3% to marketing, 3% uh, to development, and 1% to pay the BUSD rewards. So you're going to earn BUSD rewards from holding this token. And of course, there's another way that you can earn through the play to earn, right? And um, of course, as well, NFT trading, trading your NFTs on the market, right? Um, if someone wants to buy it off you for more. Right, and the price of these go up. You can see people that are selling these for various prices. You got someone selling it for free BNB here. You got another person that's selling for 0.04 BNB here. Obviously, it's a different vehicle and so on. But like I said, they're gonna have different rarities, right? Um, I'm not. If you guys have been following the channel, you know I'm not a huge NFT enthusiast. You know I've got tons of NFTs. A lot of time I get them wrong, but um, if you can earn from them and they have utility, I think those are the best NFTs 
for you to own and and if it's a blue chip nft for example those ones are super expensive you just never know what's going to be the next blue chip nft but these have a purpose right you're going to need them to play the game i'm assuming you need them to play the game but um it is free to play that actual game if we look at the chart right um the chart has been going up and to the right or it's been going sideways let's just say that but from its initial launch right it did a little pump and since then it's been going sideways it actually launched on the 18th of july so it's been about, well, just a couple of weeks, okay? And, um, you know, right now, it's sitting with a low liquidity at 12.89k. 12 12 it actually shows a different amount of liquidity on Poo Coins. I'm not sure what the actual liquidity amount is, but we know that it's very low and it's very volatile. So don't miss more than what you can afford to lose. Currently sitting at 66k in market cap, so super low, under 100k. But we're looking at the potential of this token, right? They haven't done a huge marketing rollout yet. But um, as we see from the website, right, the team has experience in uh, digital marketing. Um, so uh, we're relying on that potential, right? If you're investing in the team, right, which, of course, if you've got any questions here, I do recommend you jump in Telegram and ask the developers or the admins, right? Because um, if they've got a background in digital marketing, um, we would assume they're going to be able to market this thing pretty well, right? Um, of course, there's always, you know, um, a cost when it comes to marketing. Have they got the budget for the marketing and so on? Um, a lot of that's going to come from the token as well because obviously, you know, the project should really fund itself a lot of the time. You don't want to be spending too much out of pocket when it comes to things like this, right? But the token has its fees and there is a marketing fund in there. So it's about them utilizing that properly um, and effectively, right, and getting the word out. Uh, when the gaming season comes back, right, can this be one that stands in the midst of the popular gaming projects and actually catch a pump, catch some bullish momentum? Uh, that's what we hope uh, will happen when you invest into a project like this. So I think it's got potential. It looks pretty good. And right now they're focusing heavily on the development side of thing. And obviously the marketing needs to come in. And when the marketing comes in, there's huge potential for this to potentially pump at the low market cap that you're seeing out right now. It's highly volatile. All right, guys. Uh, so you guys will have to make up your mind. But you do have your game basics and all that in the white paper. You've got your roadmap. You know, you've got your explainer for the play to earn rewards and all that sort of stuff. So you're going to have to delve in, have a good read. Make sure you get yourself up to speed if you want to know anything. But, you know, if you do want to ask the developers, you can just jump in there and ask them. All right, guys. So the price of this is starting to move, right? Like I said, it's been going sideways. Um, so it's pretty stable price action at the moment. But it's all speculation right now because, like I said, it's super early. So go and jump in the website, guys. Jump into the Telegram. In fact, if we jump into the Telegram, we've got 551 members, 157 online. They were called out by another core group um, just yesterday, I do believe. Let's have a look. Yeah, so you've got this guy, Joker Calls. Um, and, you know, he put this info out there, called it. I'm not sure if this is on Twitter or Telegram, right? Because I've not heard of this person before. But, um, yeah, you see 25 BNB in LP. Chart has bottom support at 30k and so on. So you guys can go and mess about in the Telegram, right? 158 people online. And we've got a scheduled video chat, which is kicking off at some point um, in the next eight or nine hours. So uh, that might be good to jump in and listen to the developers, see what they've got to say about the project. All right, guys. So I'm going to leave the links in the description. I'll leave the link for the chart, the website, Telegram, and all that stuff that I usually do. Let's just uh, go back to the website. Um, let me know what you think in the comments, guys. At the end of the day, everyone has mixed opinions when it comes to gaming. Um, gaming, blockchain gaming is very early. It's a very early um, product in the in the blockchain space, right? And they're not all, you know, super triple A. Um, but, you know, if you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. So I'll leave it over to you. Uh, all the links in the description. Please subscribe to the channel. Like the video. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about the Block Riders, okay? And I'll see you guys in the very next one.